Today, let's dive into the protests sweeping across the eastern region of the Democratic Republic of Congo as demonstrators voice their grievances against alleged external interference and support for rebel groups. We are going kickstart with a recap of previous events. In recent years, the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo has been plagued by conflict and instability, with various rebel groups vying for control of the region's vast mineral resources. One of the most prominent groups to emerge is the M23 movement, largely composed of Tutsi fighters, which has been engaged in fierce battles in the North Kivu province, particularly around the provincial capital, Goma. Accusations of external support for the M23 rebels have been widespread, with Western governments and the United Nations pointing fingers at Rwanda for allegedly backing the group. Despite vehement denials from Kigali, tensions have escalated, exacerbating the humanitarian crisis in the region. No, let's have a look at the background story of the crisis. The conflict in Eastern Congo has deep-rooted origins, stemming from decades of political instability, ethnic tensions, and competition over valuable natural resources. Since the 1990s, the region has been plagued by violence and unrest, fueled by the presence of numerous armed groups and external interference. The emergence of the M23 movement, named after a peace agreement signed on March 23, 2009, has further complicated the situation. Comprised largely of Tutsi fighters, the group has been accused of committing atrocities against civilians and destabilizing the region. Finally, today's topic. In Bukavu, capital of South Kivu province, hundreds of people calmly marched to demand the liberation of parts of neighboring North Kivu occupied by M23 guerrillas, according to AFP reporters. M23, or March 23rd movement, a largely Tutsi group, has been on the offensive over the past two years in North Kivu with combat recently intensifying around the provincial capital, Goma. The years pass, the dead, the suffering, and the trauma multiply in this part of the country, said Adrian Zawadi, president of a local civil society organization, who added that it must end. Western governments and the United Nations accuse Rwanda of supporting the M23, though Kigali denies the claim. Demonstrators called for the closure of borders with Rwanda and Uganda, which has also been accused of supporting the rebels, some also called for the severance of relations with the United States, France, and Britain for their presumed connivance with Rwanda. A similar demonstration in Kisangani and Shopo province called for a declaration of war against Rwanda and the end of diplomatic relations with allegedly complicit Western countries. Several hundred women on Wednesday marched in the capital Kinshasa to call for an end to the war, while a few youths burned cars and tires outside Western embassies and United Nations offices. Thank you for watching our coverage of the protests in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Stay informed and engaged with the ongoing developments in the region. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on this critical issue. Together, we can make a difference. Until next time, take care.